and welcome to the vlog. Today I'm planning to go to Pike's Marketplace and browse around. I've been there once or twice before, just kind of briefly. It is huge. It is so big. There's so many different like shops and stands to look around, so we're gonna go do that today. And also the gum wall is near it and I'm excited because I'm gonna bring gum. I'll be chewing it on the way, preparing it to stick on the wall. So, let's go. Also, we're looking a little dark and mysterious today, besides, of course, the cute bows. <laughs> Ooh, we got a jacket because the light chance of rain, probable chance of rain. We have, of course, the otter shirt. My jeans, and I don't know, let's show my shoes. Yeah, we're, um, we're a little dark or mysterious. Who knows, who knows what she's up to? Sort of girl day. All right, I just got back from the marketplace. Um, I just got one pastry. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> the pastry. We're gonna taste test it together with something else. But I feel pretty proud of myself. I have always gotten some anxiety in social situations. It used to be a lot worse now. I can handle a lot, but I was definitely nervous about filming anything, which is why you won't see me talking in the videos usually. But I filmed, I filmed, and it was nice doing it there because so many people, it's like tourist destination, so many people are also taking pictures filming, but still, I freaking five to myself for doing something I didn't think I could do like a while ago. So while I went there, I forgot my gum. You guys, I forgot the gum that I wanted to do for the gum wall. So I bought it at this sweet shop, the Hubba Bubba. It was a gross looking. It was, it looked like the mix of like a booger and something that would come out of the rear area. But I added it to the wall. It's my gross looking gum. And I could only do like a 
five dollar minimum this was 250 so then i picked out a chocolate bar as well because i just asked like what would you recommend and she just pointed the chocolate so rainy day espresso dark chocolate truffle but i don't really want to eat just a full like chocolate i kind of want to try to make chocolate hot chocolate um the last time i was trying to melt chocolate i burned it and i burned the bowl like the bowl was coming off um and steam was coming out of my microwave we're gonna do better this time <laughs> i'm kind of feeling the princess ariel prince ariel cup today it's feels like that sort of day, sort of magical event going on. Um, the last time I just did the chocolate in the microwave, I was trying to melt it to put on something. So I'm hoping if I just put the milk and chocolate together, it'll work. I tend to not be one for recipes and that's so untrue. I have to use recipes if I want it to go good. But when I get my sporadic ideas, I just kind of go for it. So, do you feel like we need one more? Do we need one more piece of chocolate? Sorry, guys. It's dark chocolate, so it's not sweet. <laughs> As sweet. Now let's put it in the microwave. <laughs> pray, pray for me. Quick pause in this moment to talk about a bookstore. You will see a couple of bookstores um, in the video. There are a couple in the marketplace. Last time I just found one, which was the Lionheart bookstore. And I did just to show you, I got like three books. This is the last time I went and I got three of these for like $9. A lot of them are used books. I love it there. This time I found another like used bookstore kind of hidden so if you're looking for some books if you're into reading i would check that out a lot of them are pretty cheap and it's not like you know you're gonna find like a new book that you like but if you're interested in browsing around might be a good idea all right back to our regularly scheduled program of professionally judging food okay <coughs> Let's let's see the hot chocolate first. Pretty proud. It looks good, right? And then this, I looked it up. It's an Israeli or Jewish pastry, from what I got, and it's called a rugu I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it wrong. A rugulash. But it just looks like this, and it has. I was able to see from the little video that I took. It has raspberry chocolate and walnuts in it so we could double chocolate but let's taste test this first because i just feel like it has a better outcome mm -hmm. sometimes i'm not a big nut person um which would make this Maybe not the best dessert for me, but I actually really enjoyed it. Like the raspberry, I love the flavor of raspberry. And you kind of get the chocolate hint in there too, plus the bread. And the nuts don't overtake it for me, surprisingly. But I wanted to try something new and I'm glad I did. It also feels healthier to me because there's nuts in there. That makes sense, I think. No, I really like that flavor of the raspberry. I don't know if I would get it again, but I'm glad I got it this time. And then, for the chocolate. If you've ever made hot chocolate at home, how do you make it? Like, if you've made it homemade, can you just put chocolate and milk and call it a day? Is there another thing that you have to add to it? It's a little hot. One moment. <laughs> it's a little warm. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> it's not bad. You definitely can taste like what the chocolate is because it's dark chocolate. So it's a little, it has that bitterness of dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. But it's not bad. Kind of feels nice. It was windy out today, so it's warm. You know what? It's a warm drink, and I appreciate the warm drink. <laughs> the last part of this video, I just want to do, like, going over my experience the last two months of living alone in a city where I don't know anyone. Um, I moved to Seattle to, like, have a good kind of writing atmosphere, to be honest. It was just, like, I've been thinking about it for a year, and I finally decided, you know what? want to do i feel like as a writer this will be a perfect place for me to just be and so far atmosphere is great um you're thinking about moving to seattle it's beautiful like i personally even enjoy the cloudy days but that could change i've only been here for two months um at the same time i don't know anyone i do have a day job but i even there i have like work acquaintances but i'm not super close with anyone so there's definitely a sense of loneliness of being alone that i've had to kind of get used to and even just it's the first time really living by myself i've had kind of a dormish situation it was in apartments but i was living with people and i lived at home for the last year so i've always had people to kind of come home to and be around and as much as i love my independent space i mean really like i i enjoy having my own space it's one of the best things it's also like i have no one to come home to right and that's kind of sad um so if you're in that situation and you're kind of getting used to it then i would say you're not alone with it and i do think there's a positive and healthy way to get go buy it but i also think there's a way to get kind of sucked into feeling that loneliness if you allow yourself to so i just hope that you're not allowing yourself to also i forgot to add meetup is kind of a great website app because you can meet up with groups of people in public spaces and like you find kind of the hobbies and things that you like so if you are looking to push yourself a little more go out with some people and you know you're okay with meeting with strangers i'd recommend and usually whenever i've used it it's gone pretty well know where you're at right now if you're kind of struggling with some aloneness just know that even in these like periods there's something to be grateful for there's something to kind of enjoy at the moment you can have a hard time with it you can struggle and be mad at it i think that's healthy and good but just also try to find like the grateful moments and the grateful times that you can be like, yeah, I'm kind of fun to be around. I'm glad I get to be by myself tonight and just pamper and love me. So that's all I have to really say. Um, honestly, this felt like more for me, <laughs> but I hope you got something out of it. I hope you enjoyed seeing Pike's Marketplace. I've finished about half of my own pastry and i've drank less than half of my hot chocolates but i had a good time and i hope you guys have an amazing night day whenever your whole life hope you're doing amazing goodbye Bye.